ESA astronaut Thomas Pesquet from France is finally set to make his inaugural flight to the International Space Station. His mission is called Proxima, a name which follows the French astronaut tradition of referring to stars and constellations. And it will be the ninth long duration flight for an ESA astronaut. Proxima to me is a symbol of exploration. It's the closest star to the sun. Proxima also means to me proximity with the people and that's important to me. It shows that we go to space not just for ourselves but to, to benefit the people on Earth uh, and also proximity because we want to share uh, the adventure on, on social media, take pictures and try to interact with the people as much as possible. Like fellow ESA astronaut Tim Peake, who returned to Earth in June, he'll be launched on board a Russian Soyuz spacecraft from Baikonur in Kazakhstan. Toma will travel to orbit alongside two crewmates, NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky. Yes, yes. Peggy is NASA's most experienced female astronaut, having clocked 376 days in space over two long-duration missions. <laughs> Oleg will be making his second flight to the ISS, having spent around five months on board between 2012 and 2013. It will be the third flight of Soyuz MS, the latest incarnation of the spacecraft. Although it's possible for Soyuz to reach the space station in six hours, this time the journey will take a little over two days to allow systems to be tested. Once in orbit, Thomas will perform more than 30 experiments for ESA and France's space agency CNES, as well as taking part in many research activities for other station partners. We're doing genetic research, we're studying the astronaut's brain, the astronaut's uh, bones. They're good models of aging, they're good models of rewiring of the brain, so using all this we we hope to achieve results, to have better therapy for people with brain injuries and things like that. So the list of applications is really endless, and uh, that's why I'm so enthusiastic to go to the space station. As flight engineer, Thomas will be called upon to perform a multitude of tasks during his time in space. From overseeing docking operations to maintenance outside the station. He's been trained by the participating agencies to do whatever the schedule demands. Coffee. We should see four uh, EVAs, spacewalks on the U.S. side. Uh, we know pretty much uh, what, which cargo vehicles are going to come up and visit us and resupply us. Um, and then we know the scientific program, well, 80% of it. So, so it's, it's good to see that all this work uh, finally paid off for us, but also for all the schedulers, the planners, the engineers, the, the operators working in, the, in ESA and in all the different agencies. When the Proxima mission is over, Europe will have an astronaut corps made up entirely of spaceflight veterans. Preparations are already underway for Paolo Nespoli's third flight to the ISS next year. Aziza continues to use this unique outpost in space to its full potential. <laughs>